As we wrap things up, these two very close friends are going to uh, just real have quick, a little Mars moment. I got an email, someone no. saying that we have a feud and that I'm so mean to you yeah. and I snub you and I'm arrogant. I am sorry, friend. Uh, you know, I, I can take it. I can take it. <laughs> no, I've got we're thick friends. skin. And <laughs> is he saying that? Wait, she, are you going to back me up here? Snub Jeff. Oh, no, I'm going to back her friends. up. I'm going to back her friends. up. We don't have a feud. No. None of us have a feud. No, we we get along better than anybody. <laughs> right. So it's true. It's true. I don't actually don't know where that comes from. It, whenever she says something or Dan says something, it's always very We're playful joking. jabs. We're right, joking. Exactly. But so. I'm going to write you back. I'm going to yeah. write you back right now. <laughs> I it's thought that was yours. funny. I thought that, that yes. I can't wait to read that. So that, what that can I say? Comment. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, you have plenty of things to say okay. here. Uh, actually, with, with this, I have more to say about you and your fashion because this oh. is a, a fashion uh, oh. segment. You know, Fashion Week just wrapped up and from Milan to Paris to New you York. You saw Kiva's shoes. All kinds of uh, <laughs> Jeez. interesting styles. You know, that looks like it's from a slinky. This one is, is pretty interesting. Yeah. The, uh, the spiked heels are kind of in, but that looks more like a, a spring. Uh, this is cool because it mixes the running shoe with sporty stilettos. Uh, there is a sandal that allows you to scrub kitchen floors. Uh, Robin, I've had smart. to wear those <laughs> shoes a few times. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And you have a, a see-through high heel oh mixed boy. with a preppy look. That's cool. Okay. Uh, and then this T-strap heel to sock and high heel in one with feathers on the end. Of course. You know, you don't see what Kiba wears underneath the desk here, but every now and then she ventures out and gets yeah. a little wild. So It's the shoes. No, I it's don't. It's the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is also uh, pretty cool. You know, the exoskeleton suit, there's a movie coming out with Tom Cruise this summer called Edge of Tomorrow, and he's wearing these suits that give him these superhuman skills to okay. defeat aliens. Uh, it's actually in development. In our lifetime right now, we're going to see this possibly being used with the military. A new startup from Japan features the suits at an electronics show in Austin. These guys design theirs just for fun, but and it doesn't give you any additional power, but later this year, Panasonic plans to release a similar suit for about $5,000, and it allows you to lift up to 220 pounds and run five miles per hour. Might be worth it then. I don't know. Can't some people do that silly, anyway. right? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, most of us can run faster than that. Uh, so. You got something uh, for Rob with this last bit? Yes, I do. Mr. Surfer. Okay. Uh, pigs can surf. They can. Take a look. He really uh, gets off on it. Seems like he's having a good time when he's out there. So I think it makes him happy. <laughs> this is in Oahu. A uh, man's pet pig accidentally slipped That's and awesome. fell into the family's backyard pool. Turns out the pig was a great swimmer. The pig's name is Kama. His owner is Kai Holt, who loves to surf. And after the pig fell into the pool, they said, okay, the pig could swim. Why not put him on a surfboard? And he's become this huge attraction. Does he like that? People love it. Yeah, the pig loves well, the it. people it's like it. Like when it. when the pig it, yeah. falls off, he squeals with enjoyment. <laughs> so will you if you come back for midday. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs>